Okay, so here we have two samples of two different thicknesses of hyaluronic acid base filler. Now they're both cross-linked hyaluronic acids, which means they have a hyaluronic acid molecule that has a bond or a chain that holds these molecules together. Now this is gonna be a really thick, the thickest filler that we can use. As you can see, it really holds together, and this will create a lot of lift in the tissues. We'll often use this for a nose, for a cheekbone, for a jawline, because it has a lot of structure to it. Now this filler here is very, very thin, as you can see, it's almost water-like. And we'll use this in a tear trough, in a superficial fine line, in a necklace band. So these fillers will work really differently in the tissues, but the great thing about them is that they're both dissolvable. So if filler um, creates an unesthetically pleasing um, outcome, or if we have a major complication, it can be both dissolved, which makes hyaluronic acid-based fillers a lot safer to use. So now in these two small syringes, I have a highly concentrated hyaluronidase, which is the antidote to hyaluronic acid. It'll take the bonds that are holding the molecules together, break them apart, and our own body knows how to get rid of this molecule in 48 hours. So I'll show you at the speed of how they dissolve and how quickly the thin one will dissolve versus the thick one. All right, so the thin one has pretty much been liquefied, turned into single molecules, and in 48 hours our body would remove this, but there is an immediate effect. Here the filler slowly is starting to get um, thinner, smaller, and as I irritate it, it's starting to break down. So in the tissues, we would do a really firm massage and start to help the breakdown process. But in this case, because it is a thicker filler, it's more dense, highly uh, cross-linked, so sometimes these thicker fillers may require a higher concentration of hyaluronidase, um, more hyaluronidase, so volume, more of it, and multiple sessions because it is more resistant. Eventually it will break down, but these fillers are more stubborn, and this is why sometimes dissolving your fillers might take two, three, four, five sessions to fully get rid of it.